Vikings, raiding our shores, stealing all they could carry. The Vikings, settlers, farmers, craft workers. Jamie and Lucy are on holiday with their grandfather in Shetland. Today they're setting off to explore. Archaeologists. We dig things up from the past to find out how people used to live. What are you looking for? Would you believe a thousand years ago there were Vikings right here on this very spot? Wow, Vikings! They must have attacked the other people living here. Wait, stop. There's no sign of a raid. The Vikings actually used to live here. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought they lived in Denmark and Sweden and Norway and places like that. Do you want to come and see? Yeah. We think there was a Viking farm here somewhere. Where do you think it would have been? The Vikings had ships, so this beach would be quite handy for them. Look, they could pull their boats out of the water there. I wouldn't like to live by the beach. You get soaked in a storm. I built my house about here! If I wouldn't want to live on top of the hill, it would be far too windy. So I'd want my house about here. Well, I would agree with you. And we know that the Vikings were here. But what we're trying to find out now is exactly where their houses and outbuildings are. We have to dig down and look for evidence. Cool. Mm. People tended to keep living in the same place and using it over and over again. So you get older buildings underneath the newer ones. Just imagine what it must have been like if the Vikings did live here. There'd be names like Eric Skullsplitter and Magnus Smellyfeet. <laughs> There'd be kids like us and mums and dads and animals and this is the actual place they must have stood. Vikings living in this country. You've sailed all over the world. You should know all about Vikings. The Vikings got just about everywhere that people in Europe knew about, and they discovered a few new places too. They weren't just raiders, they were traders who travelled thousands of miles away from home to buy and sell goods. They traded with people to the east, in what we now call Russia, and they traded with the Arabs as far south as the Mediterranean and Baghdad in Iraq and they even reached America. How did they get to all these places? Viking technology, the Viking ship. To the Vikings, seas and rivers were like roads. It was water which connected one place to another. If we turn the map round to see how the Vikings might have seen the world, then it's a very different place. But why? Why did they leave their own country? The Vikings came from part of what we call Scandinavia. Three countries that we call today Norway, Sweden and Denmark. And then about 1,200 years ago, they just suddenly burst on the scene, attacking other countries. Why? why? Think what 
life was like where they came from. Most of Norway and Sweden is mountains. It's covered by forests and really difficult to cross on foot. And where the ground is flatter, there are bogs and marshes, which are just as tricky. The folk who lived there had to become good sailors. Ships were really important to them. But to feed themselves, most families needed to grow crops and keep animals. The trouble was, with so many trees and marshes and mountains, they were running out of space to farm. Some found that they could make their living by plundering and stealing. And their word for that was Viking. And they would come out of the great rocky bays, fjords, we call them, and go a Viking. But nowadays, the name stuck for all the Norse people. Before the raids, Viking merchants were already sailing to Britain to trade with us. The sailors must have gone back home with stories of rich farmland and treasure in the churches and monasteries. Parts of the British Isles were wealthy and the warlike earls in Scandinavia were looking for new lands to conquer and rule. The people of Britain were shocked when the Vikings started to attack them, what we now call the lightning raids. And one of the first places they raided was the monastery of Lindisfarne on the northeast coast of England. Today, it's as peaceful as it was in the year 793, until the Vikings came crashing through the surf. The Vikings raided other monasteries in Scotland, England and Ireland. They raided towns and villages too. They stole anything of value and captured men and women to take home as slaves. Some of them were taken all the way to North Africa to be sold. In Ireland, the raids went on for over 40 years. People built round towers to watch out for the Vikings. The monastery at Armagh was attacked three times in one month. But Ireland was a long way from Scandinavia, so some raiders decided to stay over the winter. Soon, Vikings started to live in Ireland. They added to a small settlement which became Ireland's first city, now called Dublin. Did the Vikings settle in Britain at the same time? Yes, they did. Viking merchants set up markets, and other families came looking for farmland. They settled in the north of France too. Normandy is called after the North men, and we use the word Norseman. You said the Vikings went everywhere by ship, but how did they get to Russia? They went up the great rivers because Viking boats can be taken into very shallow water. And when they got up to the top of the rivers, away in the middle of Europe, they would drag the boats, which were very light, over land and then put them into rivers going the way they wanted to go. That way they could go great distances. You can drag a Viking ship over greasy logs or whale bones. By going from one river to another, they could travel a really long way, even as far as the Mediterranean. It's weird to think of Vikings in hot countries. I'll tell you something even stranger. It was after they'd gone to Spain and Italy to the south that they started to explore up to the north. Wow, so why'd they go to the Mediterranean? Remember that they were traders as well as pirates. They had furs and weapons and craft work to sell. And of course, they had slaves too. Now, the Arabs had silver coins to pay for the slaves. And they also traded with India to the east and Africa to the south. So the trade routes connected up. Vikings were able to swap their goods for luxuries like silk and spices and precious stones. But the Vikings brought back more than that. They brought back ideas 
and knowledge and even games. Did the Vikings really bring us chess? That doesn't seem very warlike. Checkmate. <laughs> What was happening in England while the Vikings were exploring the rest of the world? The Danish army came over and within a year they'd captured York. They were able to move fast about the country using the old roads of the Romans. And they were highly organised and the English weren't. The different English people were fighting each other so they didn't join forces against the Danes when they came in. The Danes conquered a lot of England. A lot of the Midlands and North became known as the Dane Law because it was ruled under their laws. But their very success helped bring it to an end because so many of their fighting men settled down and became farmers. One thing I'm really confused about, did the Vikings really have horns on their helmets? I'm afraid not. Horns have been found in Viking graves, but they were drinking horns. And would you want to go into a battle with handles on your helmet? <laughs> Vikings went to America. When was that? Well, when they were moving into England, Ireland and Scotland, they were also moving to Iceland. And then about the year 900, they found Greenland to the west. And it was horrible and cold, but they did find a place where they could settle. And then one day, some sailors were blown off course and found land even further to the west. And Leif Erikson, about the year 1000, went exploring there. So a thousand years before us, and nearly 500 years before Columbus, Vikings were exploring America. The Icelandic sagas, or stories, say that Leif Erikson stayed there for the winter and then came home to tell people about it. Vikings met the native North Americans. They called them Skraelings. When did the Vikings die out? Well, the ones who settled here never really went away. Their descendants are still living here to the present day. Grandad, do you think we might be Vikings? <laughs> I wouldn't be at all surprised. <laughs>